season of Build Fighters. Is that the he, very first Build Fighters? Very first Build Fighter. Sayori, Renji, Reiji, Reiji, not Renji. I'm thinking of not, not, not the one with the build tri Gundam, the one with the beam saber V fins. This no, one we're talking about the strike. The strike. The build, build strike. strike. Build gotcha. strike. Amazing Red Warrior. Is that this no, one's the, this one's the Amazing Zaku. I don't think the Red Warrior was in this one. This is the one that's Izakai. There's Izakai in it. Where you find out the pilots from a different world. What? No. Yeah. Which yeah. one is that? Th this, this one. Oh, the yeah. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah, he's Izakai. Yeah. yeah. It's a reverse Izakai. Gotcha. Reiji. This one, yeah. I, I feel like soundtrack's amazing. Kits are amazing for what it is. Is I think it was the first of its kind, right? Isn't it the very first of the kind of there, there's the one before bash? it. There, there's one oh, the, before it. Oh, that the was, beginning one, right? Yeah, it was like the beginning. Yeah, and that was three episodes. What is going on, people? Hope everybody out there that's tuning in is having a good week so far. It is Wednesday or whatever day y'all are tuning in. This is the Undergated Podcast presented to you by the Undergated Network. I am Coop at It's Coop on Instagram. I have the homies with me, CD, Chloe's dad, and Gumpla Tesseract, also known as Austin. We come together every week to drop a brand new episode of the Undergated Podcast. That's everything from anime, Gundam, books, Gunpla, Plamo, everything in between. So we appreciate everybody who tunes in and checks us out and leaves comments and interacts and shares our stuff. We appreciate everybody. If you don't do that, we appreciate you as well, too. Thank y'all. Hope everybody, again, is having a good week so far. Man, last week we sat down and we discussed and ranked whew, some of the best Gundam series in the Universal Century. So if you missed last week's episode, this is what you missed. I like the shoots. I like the soundtrack. I like the animation. I do like the fight scene. Story characters, yes. Story and characters, yes. I, I'm not. The I'm not sure the soundtrack. You, I'm good. The story gives you the first time to seem like a true power of a true new type is what we did last week where we talked about some of probably the doper series in the gundam universe in general comes out of the uc and make sure y'all tune in and see where we rank the uc titles this week we're going to talk about non-uc so last week we ranked the uc now we're going to rank some of the non-uc and put it in the categories of s tier or god tier whatever y'all want to call it rank them all the way down to the lowest titles but as always before we get started always want to do a mental health check and just see how everybody week's going so it's the greetings how's everybody's week austin how's your week man uh better than last um bad better than last we'll just say that um <laughs> it's uh it's it's going uh, a lot of work a lot of work to do um at home and uh just at life in general um some surprising uh developments with uh, certain people that i haven't really um, um certain people i haven't um been able to work with a lot on certain things uh came in and with projects and now they're kind of collaborating with me so um that's good to know um to, that i'm not forgotten so <laughs> uh that works uh yeah no that that that's me how about you cd man same uh my last my week this week has been better than it was last week I went to some graduations my god brother graduated high school um so it was dope to see it's crazy to think looking back at these kids now versus when we graduated like i don't know how these kids can afford all this designer stuff but these kids were like walking in like gucci and burberry and oh all it's like, fake no that shit's <laughs> real <laughs> and i'm like huh and I, and I can i can barely afford the shit i got on i'm wearing old navy target good fellow brand so mm -hmm. did, you, did you see that south korean lady that was doing an interview on the street and the guy asked what's the most expensive item you have in your possession or fashion item and she said this rolex watch he said how much did it cost you she was like uh for us dollars he's like yes uh it's upward about fifteen thousand. i was like she on your wrist and she's like yes yeah so. he's like what do you do and, and like her job is just like a regular middle 
middle <laughs> middle age girl. What's Shannon Sharp say? He said, "I you gotta watch. Your watch tells you your time. Yeah. My expensive watch tells lets you know how valuable my time is." I, mean, I said, I said yeah, "Okay, yeah. okay, dropping some some knowledge and some bars for us." Yeah. I appreciate it, Shannon. So, um, get your money up, damn. That's what I felt like watching these kids graduate. But it was just dope to see him, you know, go from a little kid to being you know, a high school graduate. So, shout out to all the graduates. There was a lot of kids. My college just had their graduation last week, so shout out to all the SPU alums. Uh, and any, anyone out there graduating right now, congratulations. Now that's so, what's up, man. How about you, Coop? My week was um, was pretty good. I know I was supposed to drop Coop's Corner. Make sure y'all check out this Thursday, though. Beautiful host, by the way. Uh, but I for, not, I'm not going to say I, I got caught up in the birthday life. My uh, little mama's birthday was this past weekend. <clears throat> on the birthday party so we was able to it was a kind of a busy weekend we had a recital practice on saturday morning then a birthday party on saturday afternoon and a recital on sunday so it was, it was kind of jam-packed um then it kind of a, like hustle and bustle all weekend and i want to let you i want to let people know this if you're a new father i'm going to be a father want to be father do this if if anything else you don't get from this conversation and happy father's day to the people out there as well happy father's day start your kids off at a park for their birthday the first like six seven yeah. birthdays do a park then do the venues save yourself some money not even just save yourself some money I did it the opposite way, right? We did Chuck E. Cheese growing up for her. We did Surge, which is like a bounce house, trampoline house, right? We did a museums. <clears throat> and then we finally do a park. <clears throat> and kids her age don't know how to use a park. And t- when they have to use a park. I caught her up at the top of the slide on the iPad. I wanted to jump yes. up there. <laughs> and drag her down the slide myself right like it, but they don't, don't have to play outside no more right but <laughs> any other time they ready to go to the park like why do you want to go to the park i'm not about to take you to the park so you can sit on your ipad but if i would have just did the park at the beginning allow her to appreciate the parks right appreciate it as a kid and then now at this age go do the jump parks the trampoline yes. the bush gardens but shame on me What's up, Austin? I would say one. She could have been playing Pokemon Go, and was like, "All right." I, I, yo, I said that. I said that to my girl, uh, Kim. I was like, it, "This would have been great if they had Pokemon Go on their phones mm-hmm. or iPads, right? At least you could walk." Mm-hmm. I think Pokemon. I've been seeing people play Pokemon Go sitting down. I watch. I don't. I don't. That defeats the purpose. At one point in time, dude had like a joystick icon on his on his Pokemon <laughs> Go. Like, yo, that defeats the purpose, man. And, <laughs> but another thing is you don't know she might have been writing like sliding down the virtual slide in Fortnite while she was out of the slide <laughs> <laughs> i was looking on the bright side hell yeah, no. yeah. She, was, she was on roblox or some shit right yeah. <laughs> exactly so ah uh, well that was my week uh and in, in the nutshell another work week down next week i have a pretty chill week with a few days off so man can't wait let us know in the comments, people. How's y'all work week been? How's your week been? How's your weekend been? How's life been treating you? Hope everybody's doing fine, like I said earlier. And again, because mental health equals what, CD? Mental wealth. You want to take care of your mental health as always. always. And we always here to talk. If y'all want to hit us up in the in a, oh, DM, sounds so wild. Hit us up in the DM. But if, just hit us up. We'll be happy to talk to you if you ever want to just talk, chill build and chill whatever the case may be we here for y'all next up we have building and breaking down the backlog what new items that we brought in i want to make mine short and sweet if you want to see what items i got make sure you tune in to coop's corner the newest episode of coop's corner which is uploaded to youtube so it, it will definitely be released this week i promise but um yeah try to think about if i got anything other than what i showed on Coop's Corner, no. No, I didn't. That's that's it for me. CD, you got anything new? Zero. Over. We're batting a thousand. Yes, sir. Oh, it boy. all comes down to you, Austin. 
Oh, what boy. Pressure, man. Pressure. Well, first off, um, let me just say uh, there was a comment left on the last video um, of an uh, individual asking me to uh, give him some, uh, some recommendations for some Macross kits to get into. Um, and it's actually really hard to do that because a lot of Macross kits are not very builder friendly. Uh, they, they usually are like intermediate to expert level uh, to get into them. Some of the Bandai ones, Snap Build ones, even are kind of tough because they don't really fit well. Um, and they take a lot of TLC, but uh, I will say this: uh, I did get my hands on an HG um, YF twenty one, uh, no YF nineteen, sorry YF twenty uh, twenty, no twenty one, uh, the blue one uh, from Macross Plus. Uh, oh, you got I it? would say, it, it, well, I should say I I came into acquiring it. <laughs> it wasn't purchased; it was kind of somewhat given to me. Uh, wow that sounds really suspicious um <laughs> yes i have it cd <laughs> and so you have the, the 19 too right uh the 19 yeah yeah, yeah. so uh they're parts former i would recommend starting out with there because it's really easy snap filled not that big uh the watch size is pretty easy to put on and it's bandai so the quality is pretty good i don't have it here with me to show you um because it's not physically with me but i will eventually oh uh, but i did get something else in um i, I got a. Uh, as you guys know um my nippers did break uh r.i.p uh god hands that was my second pair of god hands so now i'm kind of steering away from them i but see luckily, god hands break more than any other nipper yeah lie. man they have a tendency to just just completely 86 themselves just like oh I, I and i cut it and i guess i must have twisted maybe on the thicker piece of plastic maybe but the whole thing just said adios <laughs> that whole top was like boosh Dude, so yeah it was done um so uh but luckily um our sponsor uh vulcan hobby right here right next to my shoulder came in uh clutch and got me a pair of these to try out and these are some unique uh little nippers i've ever seen these or even heard of this brand before it's a japanese brand um they're called uh pro visu uh the pro visu line uh nippers and as you can see they are not a single blade but they're double blade nippers um and they have a right-handed orientation on it so you put your fingers in here and you're it's supposed to make it more comfortable to cut with uh it even comes up with a backup spring for uh, or one that has like more tension on it if you want more tension or less uh so it's actually kind of adjustable and customizable to your liking um i'm in the process of using this and i will be doing a review of this actually so um stay tuned for that uh yeah no they, they feel nice too they're really nice and weighty too but uh, save for that for the review save that for the review um also i did get another thing in. i did get one kit in and uh i joined cd uh the gal goog menace high greg from mobile suit gundam seed freedom um you knew this was coming i knew this was coming we all knew this was coming it's, it's now amazing. here <laughs> it uh, what do you say cd it's fucking amazing i love that yeah kit. It, yeah i i cannot wait um i'm looking forward to it uh the amount of thruster bells that are on this uh, just in the picture and the the picture itself the drawing is pretty amazing so um i'm looking forward to this and i will be getting into this eventually uh but right now those are my only two main pickups i have some more stuff in the mail coming but um that's probably not going to be here till next week well all right man you got some pretty dope stuff um i, I wanted to try those nippers but it, I'm left-handed and I'm pretty, mm. pretty sure I use my left hand. Yeah. I use my left hand to cut. So it's neither here nor there. Uh, and just real quick, did the movie drop on Netflix? I don't think so. Netflix, Japan, Netflix, Netflix Japan. Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not in the States yet. Mm -mm. The, the Blu-ray apparently isn't releasing until December. Oh, <laughs> I was like December. Really? Does the Netflix Japan have sub? Because if that's the case, you can always just get a VPN. I, I don't think so. From what I've seen, it looks like there's they probably have a sub available, but not I haven't now. Seen it it's it. not on the seas, you think? Somebody somebody I ain't seen it on they kept that shit. Awesome. I don't know. I don't know. Netflix is really hard. Yeah, they really keep that tight. Shit a lot. You, you talk about one time I tried to take a screenshot off Netflix. They gave me a black screen. Black screen? <laughs> yeah. Like, Damn, dog. It's not even that serious. Yeah. You have to find like a, a, a separate recording device, like an Engato, an, an Engato, but even then, like it can detect it sometimes and, and stop it from streaming. It's crazy. The, uh, they're, the, I, I know, right? We got all these smart people just starting to try to stop you from getting screened, but we can't get someone to have the iPhone 
do blue and green text correctly. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but now he's just coming out with more crazy stuff with the iPhone. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Next up, we have what's cooking. Some kits that we're working on in progress. Um, I have. I'm working on some some things. It's going to be competition ready, so I'm not. Well, competition kit, so I'm not ready to kind of reveal that just yet. Nothing too major. I dropped a picture on the on the unnegated page of the silhouette. If I mean the silhouette's pretty, you know what it is. It's, it's the gun cannon, right? Like, and y'all, if and if y'all know me, I'm not doing anything wild with it, right? Like, I'm not doing like a crazy colorway tiger stripe. Shout out to um, Cobra Plug. That's what I, I was thinking Tiger Force, but then I thought Tiger Force. Cobra Plug came into my head because of G.I. Joe logo. You know? <laughs> and then went to Tiger Force and then went to Tiger Strike Gun Cannon. So I digress. But, yeah. Neither here nor there. But um, photo wise, I'm going to be working on some photos coming soon. So make sure you check out Coop's Corner, the reason why I'm working on some, some photos. And anime wise, Kaiju number eight caught up. Manga's caught up. three chapters back, two chapters back, uh, four chapters back on the side story of Kaiju number eight, and a few episodes further into. I can't say it, man. Ha- what is it, Haji? Ha- what is it, Haji? Haji May no Epo. Haji May no Epo, which is, I'm I'm trying I'm waiting for them to say that in the show because it's I thought his last name was Haji May. But it's not. It's like Makanuchi. It's yeah. Ipo Makanuchi. So I'm trying to figure out where they got that title from. So I can hear the, them the say King it. and Ashura X. Oh yeah, the King and Ashura X Baki. I haven't. It's a movie. It's 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 a letdown. It's it's, a, it's an hour and six minutes with three mm. fights. So you can just imagine like mm. it should have been longer or okay. like a series. I don't know okay uh, well I yeah i thought it was i thought it was gonna be a series but i have to finish i have to start baki and then finish keegan and not get to that so right now uh no epo is <clears throat> I've, it's the better of the boxing shows that i've seen if you know they do callbacks to like mike tyson tommy hearns and they bring them up in the show you see megal box yet no i haven't i heard that it's p- pretty good but i the fact that it's kind of like what is it levias with the Metal arms, right? Sort of. Mm. This one is... upgrades, but they don't always fight with those arms. Okay, because this one's straight boxing. Like you, you learn to turn the basics, turn yeah, step, and... twist, punch. Yeah, no epo is like you. Like oh, I gotta. He was sure, doing but... something. He was like, I'm doing a peekaboo, peekaboo technique. That's you know was crafted and uh, well was mastered by Mike Tyson in the early '90s, where he hides and he was doing that for a whole episode. That was dope to see. So, other than that, that's all I got. CD, what you what you working on? Anything? Uh, yeah. Before I get to the thing I just posted, I am taking a break from model kits, but I have been working on some Legos. Um, the missus has got, oh. kind of got me back into building Legos again. So, um, this is the DeLorean from Back to the Future. This is eighteen hundred pieces, I believe. So, working my way through this, it's pretty dope. It has like the little lights going doors which i always loved about it and then it has this little feature on the bottom where you can flip it and the wheels turn under so nice this shit has been fun nice i've never seen those before yeah this is it's it's got some weight to it and you can build it there's three different versions of it from the movie so you can build it each way depending on how you want it so um, that's been fun just to kind of break away from which is crazy because I just watched all three movies this past week. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. They got them free on YouTube. They're free on YouTube. So I just watched all three movies last week. One, two, and three. I watched them uh, Sunday. We didn't really do much. So Damn. I was just sitting back watching this. It was, which is funny. I got this for her like back in September. She started it and like just put it down. And she's, she's been like back in the building left and mm-hmm. right. And I was like, well, let me pull this out the box. And then once I got it going, I was like, damn. The only thing about this. I put something on wrong, like three bags into it, and I got into like four bags later and shit wouldn't fit. So mm. I had to go back and take everything off. That's why I got mm. to fix that one fucking Lego brick. <laughs> I had to go right back to it. So um the, it's super intrinsic. I don't know if you can see like there's 
types of like rubber bands in here and shit. It's just it's wild. So which which way which one is your favorite version? The um, original hover or the the hover, the hover for sure. Hover for sure. I don't like the one with that has like the big ass hanger in the back. I think that's the first one. Yeah, that's the that's the first movie. Yeah. But it's not. It's the first movie. But I guess it's like upgrade two or one point five because the, 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 and it get, comes with a different hood. Because I know in number mm -hmm. three. It, so this, that's why it's blank right here. You, you pick which way you want to build mm -hmm. your hood. So I think you dope. change the wires in the back. It, it's super complex. Complex, and it, it's fun. It's, it's it was a nice little break from you know building Gumpla. And then, like Austin, I, I've had some USA nippers for I don't know how long, and uh, and then the road broke. Mm. So, uh. well, I'm taking a break anyway, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, but shout out Vulcan, I did get some nippers from him, so those are on the way. But uh, I'm taking a break from that. But I did just finish and posted um, the work in progress of the Og from Five Star Stories. Um, Looks beautiful boy um thank you it does it looks it's probably the most pleased i've ever been with the project but getting to this shit every step there's a point where i almost threw it away like when it was time to put it together and my glue applicator with a little thin syringe broke i was like oh that should have told me then i should just wait i right, go get another one no nah, i'm just gonna power through it started gluing glue everywhere then i had this I was panel lining, knocked it off the desk, spilled the entire bottle. I should tell myself, I should stop. This is this is telling me stop. Nah, nah, I'm gonna keep going. As I'm putting it together, I realized I cemented the legs, the knees together, but on the wrong leg. So the left knee was on the right leg, and the right leg was on the left knee. Because in the instructions, they don't tell you how to build it separately. There isn't in Gundams in your left leg, right leg. Every piece of this kit is side oriented and they don't tell you that. So it just says C1, C2. Uh, so you kind of just have to figure it out. Kind of, They all kind of have a bend to it. So that's how you know if it's, if it's the right side. So I had to break, uh, break it apart after I cemented it and put it back together. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I, I would have just been like, oh, I guess it's standing in that position forever. <laughs> I, I tried, but the, when I had it backwards, want... other pieces wouldn't fit onto it. Yeah, it would uh, probably be like like that so, like. so i couldn't even get the legs into it and mm. i was like yo why is this not fitting and that's when i realized oh my god this shit is submitted backwards mm. started panicking i said fuck i'm just gonna break it apart and because the glue i used wasn't the right glue it was easier for me to break it apart so oh, that's something but there you it, go. it's done it's standing it's not all glued down because i'm gonna bring it down to the uh, expo so I, I left some pieces i'll glue it down when i get there but standing i have just these big ass wings left to do the binders mm. so once i'm done with that it'll be finished but this was a extremely like this isn't for the weak hearted new builders um you, i definitely suggest like having some experience and time in the hobby um, because you will need all of it you will need mm. it's it. like and some tissue it's like not even time in the hobby you just you just literally have to tell yourself I'm, it's just going to be something I want to do five, six, seven years in. Time in a hobby isn't. I feel like time in a hobby is learning from like master grade. I mean, high grade to master grade. That's like, yeah. okay. I spent time in a hobby. <clears throat> but for that, uh, you, kitchen, bro. This, this shit was. Shit. I, when I said I was ready to spike it, I told her, I told her, I said, oh, yeah, this is done. Like, I, I'm going to have to order another one or this is going in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Damn. But it's done. It looks beautiful it's like the presence of it is taller than any mask i've built it's super shiny super glossy it just it looks really beautiful but there's tears in that shit you know there's there's I, literal tears put that kit together oh fuck i bet <laughs> you know it's it's funny i have kind of a saying there it's like if the kit was super easy to build it, then something's something's up but you know what? When you take a kit and it just gives you a problem, gives you trouble, and you have a fight along the way, at the end, everything just seems so much better. Dog. And before I even get... Chloe and the missus were playing with an airplane in the house. And she knocked over the entire bottle of Mr. Ooh. Cement on the kit. And if you don't know, Mr. Cement molds the kit, you know, glues it together. Yeah. So it's sat in pieces mm -hmm. that you can't, no matter how much sanding, is going to fix. 
So some pieces on this kit look wild, and I had sanded them to make them look as best as they could. But just from, a, the, from the get, do you have a filer? Yeah, bro, but that still is too is too whacked. So the grooves, you know, has like panel lines. Yeah, they s- smoothed out the panel lines and it smoothed pieces together. Mm. And I, I had stuff built on the table, so it Damn. literally glued. So even if you. Together. Like separated, file it down. You would have to then scribe the panel lines back in, and they will never be to the same depth. I'd have to break look right. the, the foot. Dang. Was glued together, so that's why it's one color because I couldn't break Dang. it apart without breaking it. But hey, it's done. It looks good for the most part. It sounds like a war story. <laughs> I because now I want to do another one because now I know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. I, oh, five star stories. Yeah. It's just the Literally. picture of someone with its five hands, like <laughs> it's giving himself just a face palm. Five star. <laughs> Everyone I talked to that built it said like you know it, it's it's not I, w- I don't want to say it's hard it's not hard to do mm-hmm. it's just not fun it wasn't a fun process but seeing it done is like that's what you go to do it for mm-hmm. gotcha. Gotcha. So, that's my okay story. there you go well, it looks good hell <laughs> Thank, yeah <laughs> thanks like it was worth it <laughs> awesome what you've been working on big dog yeah so uh I was taking a break uh but I decided to um Fuck try break. out the nippers <laughs> yeah <Fuck that> yeah <laughs> see cd saw the stuff i was working on he was in and the fact i was pulling all-nighters again he's like well, okay so i guess you're not on a break at all yeah, <laughs> and i was like <laughs> well i well i wanted to try out the nippers because he got me I'm, I'm super curious about them so i just started working on stuff um i started working on our group build for the uh, origins gym um you can't see it here because my camera's a little bit too low resolution but i've actually already started filing away parts and i'm gonna make this half the regular uc gym and half the origin gym so there's some panel lines are gonna get filled in there's some detail stuff that's actually gonna be cut off like you can't see on the head but i've already cut off the chin and filed that down Mm. flat um so there's small things here and there i'm gonna do uh to it um i might end up doing the same gym thing but there's certain things I, i'm going to delete just because it's fun to delete stuff um uh, see fault. what you end up with oh it's all good <laughs> and then um then of course i have the 30 minute mission sisters serenia uh, or uh, the the evil chick uh, <laughs> uh that i just decided to build and snap up uh and I was uh, thoroughly impressed. I forgot that 30 minute missions are actually really fun, quick little builds that you can make. Um, and it was a great test for the nippers because it's dark plastic. So you can see where the marks, how it handles marks and how it handles stress on plastic. And it actually handled it fairly well. Um, but all that for the review later. But yeah, uh, this as well. So I, uh, I, I think I might paint this. Um, so I guess I'm not on a break at all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fuck that break. Is what you're saying. Right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, and then I got back into Goblin Slayer recently. Um, because uh, my job when I just have a moment to get away, I've been going in and just taking a manga book with me to work. And every time I just have a moment to myself, I actually sit down and just read a chapter or two. And uh, I forgot how good Goblin Slayer is. Oh my god, uh, I, I missed it so much. And uh, these characters, even they don't have names, are still some of my favorite characters in manga. Um, and uh, I started also working on the G.I. Joe motorcycle um, because there's some dark spots on there, too. So I needed to test out the nippers to see how it handles stress marks in there. And that motorcycle's strangely detailed, like really detailed for such a smaller kit. It has the engine, the the, the cowling, the transmission. It had uh, spars for the body. I was going through this like, wow, this is what? why they go this hard <laughs> on, a, on, on a on a gi joe kit like this i was like this this seems awfully uh awfully Is that made by bandai no right yeah yeah no, yeah no, it's wait. a bit flame toys flame toys yeah flame toys yep flame toys um fun model and i mean it's it, i i wish you ah my cameras yeah i wish i could uh, show it a little more thoroughly but uh i i guess i'll take some pictures and show it on instagram but and a lot of it gets covered up, but like the chain for the bike thing is there. And I'm like, what is going on? Why is this so detailed? I put the, I put the arm and leg in that jar. <laughs> right. That's what I was like. Why is this so detailed? This seems awfully crazy. Um, and then um, also I've been going through all my 30 minute mission sister kits. And um, there's a bunch of parts I just never built or never cut out of the runners. So I collected all of them and I've just been going through all of them and putting on all their armor all their extra packs all their extra hair fair hair uh hair pieces face plates 
all the stuff so I can test out the nippers. So these are getting a thorough workout. And um, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. So far, the, the review's pretty darn good. But yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up, man. We've been. Oh, I also finished the perfect strike. Uh, pictures are up on Instagram. Check it out. Some are on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Put your foot in it. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Let us know in the comments what y'all been working on out there with some new anime, manga, movies. He said, I didn't watch Back to the Future one, two, and three, some older movies. I'm about to go down the Equalizer train. I haven't watched. Seen Equalizer two hasn't haven't seen Equalizer like the end one, of one and one. three are on Netflix. I've never seen. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I heard <laughs> I'm watching one now. Mm. Yeah, I seen the. I went back. I was watching Starship Troopers last night. That shit's cult classic. Apparently, I used to like that shit as a kid. You didn't like it as an adult. Mm, it was corny, but it's it's very corny. But I'm, I was here for it. I like that shit. Yeah, and uh, I mean it's 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 one of those old uh those old like when you watch it as a kid you're like this is awesome right. and it's like, one of those oh, older movies. Yeah. Like wow, this is this is a little racy. Yeah. You're, you're like you're like that decision didn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> but let us know in the comments below. Next up, they pulled the wool over our eyes last week, right when we kind of like ended the show, and for what's new. Gumpla nerd dropped a lot of heat well, that band yeah. announced. So again, we're going to use Gumpla nerd. He's like the honorary member. We say it every week. He, they just don't know it. But first up, man, kit of the year is here, people. We are looking at the MGSD Wing Zero custom or mini Verka, however you want to call it. Man, this looks amazing. This and it transforms like, too. And it transforms. To, look at the wings. It, the detail inside the wings is what got me. Because that's not even in the Verka, if I remember correctly. It's not. How many you copy two? Two. Might might rock three. One to rock. One to stock. I mean, Come this on. is the first um wing zero that's gonna be able to do bird mode and do a atmosphere entry mode somewhat because the real grade does this in the older master grade, but the Verka is the only one that goes into the Neo bird mode um, because of the manga. So it's pretty dope to see that it's capable of doing kind of three versions of whatever Wing Zero you like. If you like the atmosphere entry version, that's you know more suited for the movie, you can rock it like that. Or if you like the, you want to have one in Neo bird mode and the other in, um, uh mobile suit mode or fighter mode i think that's pretty sick only gripe and i'm just being picky i'm being real picky only gripe is i wish they did more detail on the gun different colors they can start at least doing the red piping for the gun mm -hmm. something you know give us a little bit more flair for the people that don't paint uh out just outside of the box i mean this gun just looks sd <laughs> yeah yeah but it makes sense i i, I want to see how well it holds up the iconic pose right i want to see how like how well that holds up you'll have one pose like this and one in bird mode <clears throat> be crazy if i was designing i'll try to figure out a way to kind of lock in the gun to the chest to where like if it had like peg holes in the gun mm -hmm. peg holes in the chest you can try to just push it in there so it won't droop down and it would just stay in place like that. But man, that look, this looks amazing. Now, is this something you'll you'll wait for, or when it drops here, you you'll have it? Whenever Vulcan gets it in, right. and, and and I'm waiting for everything that it comes out with to build. So like photo etch, all of it. Still waiting for the MGSD Barbatos photo etch by Mad Works. But other than that, kid of the year for sure. Kid of the year for sure. Next up, we add on pieces to uh, optional parts. Gump, uh, Gumpla set 13, the battle arms. Looks like you could just, if you want additional arms, weapons. I, I don't think we really do the option parts anymore, do we? Nah. They look, they look too beginnery. I feel like you can't make an option part look like 
That looks like Shenlong, man. Like, what were they doing? <laughs> that does like Shenlong. Some of them I do use for like uh like the missiles or something, but not not this. Yeah, I, I, was I just want to take the missile pack or something, but everything else, no, I'm straight. Yeah, and and you know the um the uh what is it the borderline what is it uh uh mm-hmm. Senki, mm-hmm. uh, was that what it's called um yeah borderline they have a weapons option set that their weapons in my opinion look better what? than the way field fighter better. ones yeah way better they actually have like it, it rifles and stuff like that so yeah it, these start it, looking yeah. like like you said Austin build fighter these look maybe because they're just throwing them on any random kit. Well, this is technically a re-release from that build fighter add-on weapons it's called the arm arms set this is technically mm. a re-release but retooled i think there's more just more um as you can see like these uh, pegs that allow for separating joints now this would be nice for kit bashers because now you can uh, attach like other third-party missile packs and stuff like that that use the same peg hole size um because you get all those options you can pivot stuff and everything yeah. like that but um but once again it, it's it's eh, uh, eh. Mm. You know, I, I uh, next oh, up yes. more photos of the <laughs> RG. Oh yeah, what is it, Austin? <laughs> what is this called? Uh, Akus. Yeah, the Akushiki. Or Akush- they, uh, Akusaki. Uh, 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 yeah, Akusaki or Akushiki. Anyway, I call it the uh, the Akushiki. Um, but it's essentially just a golden strike, uh, made by Orb. And oh my God, it's gorgeous. Look at it. Just look at it. That thing is sick. It looks dope. Uh, one major gripe, though. Um, so we got closer up photos of it. People have seen it in public. And uh, guys, um, the shoulder joints are different, but all the other inner frame parts look like from they're the from strike. the Strike RG. And if you don't know, the RG Strike is one of the first RGs. It is, uh, it's kind of famous for being a little loosey goosey in the knees. Yeah. And from suffering um, from that uh, early. Oh, real grade, grade syndrome, syndrome. Yeah. real grade syndrome so it, it it has the inner frame of this and i will build this before i get this just so i know what i'm dealing with but and plus just because i love the strike but jesus it looked good but it's a hundred dollars just build the frame yeah so it's a hundred dollars so vulcan um whenever you get it in you know Please what to do <laughs> i'll send the helicopter <laughs> so. next we got some bb kits coming out Looks like they're all from Seed. Yeah, Impulse, Destiny, Freedom. <laughs> Dude, the Seed love is heavy. Oh yeah, the movie I, that I was came talking out. to Joe at I was talking to Joe at Hobby Town. He's so sick of seeing Seed because that's all he gets in. <laughs> He's like, all I keep seeing is Seed stuff. <laughs> oh hey, hey look, at that. look at that. <laughs> look at your guy. Now you got to get this one. Put it along beside him. I might I might paint one orange next. Ooh. This is tough. Yeah. Yeah. The Zaku Phantoms do look pretty good. Hey, more Seeds. More, seats. <laughs> more BBSD or the Stargazer. There you go, Coop. Mm-hmm. Get that. Put it right next to yours. Wait a minute now. That is that it's called Stargazer in the show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the, it's the Stargazer got them. Yeah, it's a movie too. Well. Okay, I've seen the high grade. I just didn't know it does say Stargate. And the one, the third party uses the same name. <laughs> no, it's the third party's called the glory. But oh, if the you glory. but okay. if you rub really hard with your hand on the box, you can see it starts <laughs> <it's> Stargate. <laughs> like a lot of tickets. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the mean? What's the mean with um Tom Wires putting the glasses off? Like, wait a minute. Right. Them off. <laughs> <laughs> the glory and you open it up, Stargate. Well, hold on. I don't know if you guys yeah. seen that uh third party GM um Spartan is out on that just came out. Mm. It's literally the Bandai one. Are you and they're using the stock images. Are you oh, dang. are you going to the nerd? I feel like CD know everything that fucking releases, man. Yeah. You know, well, C- <laughs> you CD know knows all those third up? party, man. Right. I'd, I'd be certain. CD's this CD, what he hasn't told us is that he secretly knows Chinese. So he's on the phone talking to them the whole time, those manufacturers. Hey. Okay. Here goes the wing. I'm not wing. Yeah, wing dragon of raw from Yu-Gi-Oh. Again, this a lot of gold. If you're gonna paint it, good luck. If you don't paint it, even still looks nice and it looks. I think. I wonder how just this with just some heavy gloss. Just keep throwing gloss on it. As long as them seam lines is covered. Yeah. yeah. It, again, you put this beside the god cards. 
This looks good. Where's the eyeballs of torment? That's next. It's coming. It's coming soon. It has to be. Then we get this guy. I think we talked about him last time. This is with the. Uh, yeah, bro. I'm straight on this. We get to look like a rip off of Gal Gagar. Facts. The Godzilla skeleton. It's long pause. Do you, do you get the option to build both, or is it just I a think skeleton? It, I think you get to build both. Oh, okay, gotcha. And then they cover it up. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like the inner frame is a skeleton. Okay, I might pick this up for some photography. Yeah, let's try to see what I could do with it. Is it posable at all? Or is it fixed? No. Uh, if it's fixed yeah. like that, even still, like this is my favorite version of Godzilla. Mm -hmm. The way you look aesthetically. I even though I haven't watched, I have it on my, my list. I haven't watched. Minus one yet, but aesthetically, yeah. this one looks. I like this guy's. Well, the arms are kind of long. The Godzilla from the Monster Verse. Mm -hmm. I like the, the, it. Looks like it had a tail support. Did it have a support for the tail? Yeah. yeah. Oh, got you. Okay, I didn't know if that was just in the pick. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it does have a tail. Okay, got you. Next up, some more Armor Core Six kits from Bandai. Mm -hmm. So this is thirty-minute missions. But they're armor core line. So 30 minute missions is dabbling into armor core. Like yeah, and then subsidiary subsidiary. And, and it would make sense because the game is all about mix matching parts. And armor and 30 minute missions is literally mix matching parts. Yeah. Um the thing is is that Jeez. even though you yeah, it, 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 the thing is that this this is a little bit smaller size. So um I, th I think if you're looking for the larger ones, which are usually defined as an actual character or hero suit, the Kota Bakia ones would be the way to go. But if you if you really want to get you know into mix matching armor core kits, this is I'm the way to go. This, putting this railgun on the Zaku. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. They're gonna have some really cool weapons you can come out of this. So yeah. That's way better than that build diver one. Yeah, the build diver one says it's for high grade, but that shit is about the size of heavy arms. Yeah. So damn. Next up, we have more Armor Core 6. 30 minute mission. More Jeez, Armor Core 6. Nice. Yeah. And the weapons look good. That's all I know. P Bandai 45th anniversary Earth Color of the RX 72 Revive Kit. 45. Been five years since they dropped that 40th anniversary set. Sheesh. It's pre COVID. Like right at COVID. Mm. Mm. Looks dope. Classic color. Is this that box? Oh, eggshell. Eggshell RX entry grade granddaddy RX. Eggshell white echo yeah, eco plot. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> it goes the 2.0 version 2.0 with granddaddy. The box art, which I think of the box art. Looks good. I like it mini pgu essentially and uh if they had it like flying off like the pgu would be dope but having that under that lower profile up looking mm -hmm. up shot especially with the two-toned uh gray and white with that esff logo on it yeah so they, is, they did... is this second to the wind for you coop yeah for a uh, mm. kid of the year mm -hmm. yeah sanaju is slowly falling down you know that shit's... it's gonna be a steal it's gonna be a steal in a draft though <laughs> We're gonna be a steal in the draft. This looks good, man. It's gonna be a lot of pieces. I can tell. I I, I see a lot of people probably keeping it like this, or yeah. at least half. Yeah. Wait till they oh, drop the clear the clear parts on uh, P Bandai. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be loved. Next up, P Bandai, Austin. My and cross. There you go. Ooh, that looks dope. Yep, heavy armor or full armor version of this is the Shadokin VF Masala 25S, the, Mas the Messiah, Messiah, there you go, Messiah Valkyrie, Azuma Lee custom. It looks dope. This is Shadokin figure, so it's going to be pretty expensive. New in uh, entry grade, new <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, is this the Axis Luminous? This is when he's yeah. like full blown immersed. Yeah, but psycho frame goes crazy yeah are those, frame. wait are those oh those are stickers okay i say i was like wait they're giving you water slides with an intrigue like nah those are stickers i'm crazy oh man come on 
Hey, <laughs> more seed. <laughs> These little candy toys, seed freedom toys. <laughs> Caliburn is finally getting an SD cross silhouette version. I like it. I like it. And they got the correct pose too. Probably when it's reaching out his hand in the animation, whoever drew that that frame went wild. And mm -hmm. I like the fact that you can adjust the body type inside this. So you can either have it chibi size or mm -hmm. a little more traditional kind of laid out size. Looks good. And now, I'm always a big fan of the taking the SD head and putting it on a high grade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Th those always look dope to me. So mm -hmm. more Armor Core 6. Psycho uh, Bawu. Bawu Mobile Suit Operations looks good. Sure. Operations. Side yeah. F Axis Gym. Metal Robots of the Mighty Strike and Infinite Justice. That's coming uh, out soon. Uh, if my bank account was fatter, I would love <laughs> I don't the know. Justice. And Madworks just uh, dropped the backpack too for the. Uh, and conversion parts for PG Freedom. Mm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. C C D man. You, you know gotta... what I'm saying? <laughs> Madworks dropped it. You know what I'm saying, huh? <laughs> you, you know it's crazy. We're recording this. It actually hasn't dropped. C D just knows it's gonna drop on Wednesday. Right. <laughs> I mean, we talked about it like months ago. I was like, Oh yeah, this is gonna they were working on it and they just clear color of the they knew they mighty, knew mighty strike. This looks terrible. Oh, this is coming out with the Blu-ray. It's gonna be bundled with the Blu-ray. I was looking at the price. I said twenty-seven thousand five hundred yen. I was like for a high grade, but it's gonna be bundled with the Blu-ray. December. That's, that's still a hundred and forty some odd dollars. Hey, that's not bad. What? What? A collected for a movie edition. Like it? A co ooh. Well, think for about it. The really? halfway movie is like a hundred bucks, and I think all you get is a vinyl. I thought you get a steel case with that in like a little oh, art yeah, book. Sure. I uh, in a you, probably get, you, you probably get all of that steel case. You probably get the soundtrack in this. Uh, uh you got to now, Austin. No, no. What I gotta do? Check. <laughs> Save that for that. Uh, yes, yes. Feed me. <laughs> check out the breakdown. I like that. I might have to do that on um see that's why you hold off on kits, man. I have the real grade mark. I might have to do like a stealth black and black mm -hmm. mark two like that. That looks dope. If the gym three, it's the development of the uh the rifle, the blade rifle. That's just the regular rifle from the mark two. But that was a development from the Jim Sniper 3, which led into a development of the, uh, the Hazel Ozla. And then, yeah, uh, uh. no, where are you going? What are you doing? Where are you going? Tomasha Nation's Gundam Universe. <laughs> uh, Looks okay. Looks, I don't know. Gundam Universe fake. I was on it when it first came out. It's just not my steez anymore. It, and you know, the problem is the suit's primarily white, it, it, it needs panel lining. To yeah, and, and black in the panel lines to, to accentuate it. Uh, I don't know. We're moving on. <laughs> P Bandai Co. Gios kit. I thought this was a damn five star stories when I saw this. <laughs> what an Egyptian I... god. What's the Anubis? <laughs> right. Question for you guys Have they ever released a regular Code Gios kit? Like, does not P Bandai? Yeah. It's the yeah. blue. It's the it's like twenty the Lancelot and the yeah. Garen, Garen. It's a long time ago. I was I think twenty nineteen, twenty eighteen when I seen it. It was like twenty five bucks. My boy, I remember I saw it at Hobby Town. I was like, oh, shit. Hmm. my boy was gonna pick it up, but he was like, I want to wait. Hmm. This is the Robot Demachi Nations Mark Two Titans colors. I don't know if I'm gonna get this or not. Looks dope though. Does look pretty good. Um, more SDs coming out soon. Eleven USD, mini RX 93s in different colorways. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Eighty the uh, December 24, 2024. I thought it would be earlier than that. Me too. I thought it was gonna be October. More shots. Do we have a release date for the 2.0 RG? I think it was 
Uh, August. August. Oh, was August. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's why I thought August, of course. Yeah, I thought I was going to launch with it. But... All right. That's cool. Give it some time to breathe. Mm, weapon pack. Oh, that looks pretty dope. Yeah. Oh, so that, that lightning around that weapon pack, that I think uh, there was a third-party kit that did that first, but then Bandai used it on that Lafriff P Bandai mm -hmm. kit, and now everyone's starting to use it in third-party again. So <laughs> mm. I might pick that up. I like this blade. It's from the... Mm. Uh... Astray, Astray Red Frame. Yeah. Ooh, Kikaru Shun Shinema Shino Shinomiya. There we go. That's why I watched episodes a thousand times. Kikaru Shinomiya from Kaju Number Eight. Heard the box art for the figure eyes kit. Looks pretty good. Look at the axe. Dope. This the gun for me. It's clean. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know if I want to pick this up. Mm. Why? I'm, I mean, I might pick it up because I want the SH Fig Arts. And I know the SH Fig Arts is not going to come with that. It might come with the big axe since they already released it in the show. Ah oh, man. It looks good. Mm. If, I, if I get this kit, it will be paired up with some of them other girl kits I got back there. That's that's a good call. That works. Thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Option two. Oh, was that the that was the option set? Yeah. So here we go. For anybody wondering, you now. I mean, it, it, the only reason I bring this up is because I just built the master grade of this. Um, the uh, the launcher striker and the sword striker option part set for the high grade or entry grade uh, strike Gundam this is now officially the first time bandai has released these two kits you could get them before but you had to buy them either as a perfect strike pack like actually on like the gundam itself or in different grades like they sell it by itself or you have to buy the sky grasper for example to get it through p bandai this is the first ever regular regular release of these packs for this kit and it only took bandai almost 20 years and right what's here. nice about this, there's a revive um, strike that you can put this on instead of buying like the perfect strike, which uses the old, old, old mm -hmm. as the first original strike. So you can mm -hmm. now, this is going to sound like a silly question, though. It comes with it comes with both. But why doesn't it say like or show the perfect strike? I'm assuming you can't make the perfect strike with this, though. Uh, you need the ale strike pack, which is the 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 red jet wings mm. that come with the that actually are a separate kit that you buy now with the entry grade strike i know it this it, it, they still they, need so you, you still need to buy you still need to hunt down other yeah. kits to make it if you make an entry grade but the revive strike you don't need to um Seems right there yeah it comes they with did the drop an entry grade ale strike they did yes okay so did. if that you get the entry grade ale strike you get at least and they have all the connection pieces to make the perfect strike yeah so this this should be good to go out the box. I think the only thing that's missing maybe is the battery pack, but you don't need it for the high grade, honestly. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, it it is finally. And the sleeper of the year, Sanaji Stein started off as a front runner to get drafted number one overall. Potentially poor, you know, just not. It's not a poor combine, but I want to say that you know a lot of we've seen it before. We a lot of other players accelerated in the combine. We didn't think was going to accelerate, right? So. Again, it's going to be a steal in the draft when it comes out. Man. Look at you. They're not even showing you anything there. Chill, CD. Even still, you going to it's going to be it's going it's going to be somewhat new. Watch. Watch. There's, there's a few new things. Ah, uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know if y'all could tell, but it looks like what is that yellow panel line on the head? Yellow. Oh, I see. Like yellow yeah. shading. Yeah. Yeah, yellow shading. That's kind of weird. Up, on the Sinanju? Yeah, on the on the head of yeah. the Sinanju. Like right where the yeah. Where the... Mm. I might, I might, I might, I might. Same beam rifle from the heavy weapon system, new gun. This a uh, pose like this with the wire coming from the back. Come on, Jack. Come on, mm -hmm. man. I might. 
can, can you go back to that picture with the feet? Did it? Did they add in the hooks onto the bottom of the feet? Or is that just molded in there? They're at the tip of the toes where he's already bent. Is that a hook or is that just mold? Molded in? Was that on the old one? I don't know. I have no clue. I want to say I, it's not. Okay, got you. The, the, <laughs> I want to say it's new. The, the the only the only reason I say that is because on the new Gundam, I found out at the bottom of the feet there's hooks that pop out because in space when it needs to like connect to the wall, there's little hooks that pop out the bottom of the feet on the master grade. And I was wondering if they added on this. Volks, Vulcan, put an order in for me, dog. <laughs> I got the master grade Sanaju. I have to have this Master Grey Stein. I have to. Yeah, go ahead and put it on. I'm don't getting... you already have it, though? No, I don't have any Steins because I've been waiting for the OVA version to release. That's right. The re-release, yeah. So my time is here. Mm. Mm. I might get two because I know a conversion kit with the different propellant that almost probably like a different... Yeah. With the, the one defense. that Gunpla OG did. Mm -hmm. And titanium That's, finish or nope, just this, metal? Is the, this is the metal, oh, metal robots gotcha the one you need a fat account for yeah no thank you what is what is <laughs> going on who is that, <laughs> who is that? Is that like a sneak peek to like a live action scene like that was akira <laughs> who was that who is this so random guy that might have been the voice actor for Kira, but he kind of walked like he was, you know, solid snake. That guy <laughs> walking from an explosion. And, and yeah, why he... do they have him walking like that? Yeah. In a world. Exactly. <laughs> so man, a lot of lot of dope stuff coming out, people. So start being right. Start taking care of your bills. So when it's time comes around, you have enough money to drop on some of these dope kits. Some people are doubling up. I'm gonna double up on the 2.0 because I think. I think it might be my toy photography RX, even though I have the Demashi robot Demashi. We'll see. I feel like that at that point, the robot Demashi would be a waste of money. Right. But we'll see. Let us know in the comments below, people, what y'all picking up. And that's it for what's new. Real quick for hold that thought before we jump right in. I remember I was telling Austin about this the other day. Did you hear? I know, CD, you heard about it. The Eagles and the Green Bay Packers? What about them? about the game in brazil oh yeah yeah i did hear about that so people there's three teams in the nfl that have primary color green it's the eagles the packers and the jets those are the only three the nfl decided to send the eagles and the packers so 66 percent of the green teams in the nfl to brazil to play uh, their first ever game in the nfl in brazil they're playing at a stadium which the rival team in soccer of this stadium, I think it's, I forgot what the name of it is, but the rival team wears green. So there is a ban on all green attire. Any green attire cannot be played at the stadium the Eagles and the Packers are playing. That's, you dropped the ball. You dropped the ball, NFL. You fumbled the ball. I mean, come on. This is, if I'm Roger Goodell, I'm firing the R and D guy. Like, who? What are you? What are you so doing? Eagles, right, the black jerseys and we green can't. White. We can't. They, the black jerseys got green in it. Austin, I talked about. The only thing that we could, could do is the old old throwbacks, not the 1980 throwbacks. The blue, light blue and yellow that we haven't worn since like 2010. They might have to make some exceptions. Or, or just, 1910. I don't even think Green Bay has an alternative. They don't have green. Well, they have the um the old looking yellow and blue. Oh like first, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah the first. First. I seen like uh the Giants. They're wearing like some old ass ugly brown and red or red and blue type shit too. Remember the Steelers throwback? It was like a bumblebee, yellow and brown. Yeah, yeah bumblebee. <laughs> So, and players we just need their helmets. Yeah. So here's our throwbacks of like our original jerseys. The damn Lakers from back in the day. That is the Minneapolis Lakers. That's terrible. LA Rams. <laughs> Don't ever bring those shits out. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, you see the Madden uh, cover? The Madden cover. I'm glad it won't hurt. 
It is Christian McCaffrey. He got his money, ain't got the Madden cover. That's a trifecta. I mean, that's a double whammy. That means, that's gonna uh, hurt. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say that. Say it. You say it any other time. Yep. You say it if Jalen Hurts was on the cover. Sure would. Scream it. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so say it now. So gonna gonna stand on business. Uh, he's gonna be wrapped. Things seem wrap. to be unlucky for <laughs> who are featured on the Madden cover. I think Josh Allen broke it though. Yeah, he went to the playoffs. So. Yep. And yep. he didn't get hurt. So. Yep. Richard Sherman did too. I don't think he had a bad offseason. Man, Richard Sherman, I think a year later, tore his Achilles. Yeah, Long as it was on the, the next year, though. Yeah. Well, that's hey. all I have for hold that thought. The NFL being the NFL and being any other wild news. Celtics are up 2 0 on Dallas Mavs. Yeah. Jalen Brown is showing off. Chris Jones has pulled a muscle in his, his ass or some shit. He, <laughs> he might not play next game. I don't know. Who knows? Chris Jones is fuck. washed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this summer, all right. Well, that's it for hold that thought. Let us know in the comments if y'all have anything wild to throw out there for the last hold that thought. Well, not last hold that thought for this hold that thought. Next up, let's rank them, y'all. Last week we did the UC. It got pretty. I ain't gonna say it got pretty dicey. It got pretty. Got it, it was up there. It was up there. Um. We did we're gonna do it again with the two in a tier god tier or new type category the s tier category right we only gonna put two not everything could go up there buddies all right so y'all ready let's go ahead and get this going so first off let's start off with what we like we did last last week what goes at the bottom let's get the trash out of here first let's get the let's get the Let's get the trash. Let's take the trash out now. You know what I'm saying? What goes at the bottom? The live action. Gotta the go. live action one was. Uh, it was dope to see them, like what they could potentially do with it, but it was a it, 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 four friends or five friends. They broke up, came back together. Love interest in the show too. It was okay, but. It's not what we need to see. Mm. Next up, what else is going in that box? We could put all these, right? Let's just be real. All the SDs. <laughs> all the SDs. Like, all the SDs. Let's just get that out of the way. To be so fair, I can... we haven't seen most of them. I so don't care. People in the comments. <laughs> don't be like, that's the best whatever. We haven't seen it. <laughs> We're <Yeah>. just going off. <laughs> and then at the end of the day, some, some things, you just know it has a ceiling, right? I don't need to... Like I just know the besides Brock Purdy, who's like a outlier, right? I just know the last guy in the draft is not better than the first guy in the draft. <laughs> right? Like I, I kind of know that. Like that's <laughs> like I, I I'm pretty sure by now I should know that. Yep. Uh, so, uh, get a uh, G Savior out the way. <laughs> is this it? Oh no, that, that's G Reco. Oh, that's G Reco. G Savior. Oh, G Savior is UC technically. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know why that's there. All right. What is uh, this? Another SD. Is that you see? You consider that you see? Yeah, we'll say alternate. We'll say alternate. Sure. All right. Battle log. Yep. D. D. Ooh. Yeah. Terrible. Did Absolutely not like flawless. that at all. Pointless. Yep. I have not seen Evolve. Have y'all seen this? No. Don't, don't bother. D. This <laughs> don't bother. <laughs> Damn. Now we kind of getting down to the meat and potatoes. Victory Gundam. Ooh, that's a wait, metaverse. metaverse. Metaverse, where's Metaverse? Is it next to Gundam Wing? Damn, Gundam Wing jumped around on me. That's yeah, it's right no, below behind. That's, that's build fighters. Yeah, that's re rise. The re rise at the top. No, this one says battle. What is this one? Oh, right next to re rise. Yeah, go up to re rise and then go to the go to, yeah, top level. And oh. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's right. That feels right. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Victory Gundam. Where do you rank Victory Gundam? From what I've seen, C. Yeah, that's the definition of a C. It it was rough to get through toward the middle, and then you have no idea what the hell's going on. 
about toward the end, man. Mm. It's trash. Yeah, it's same. Oh, good. It's, it's, it's trash. <laughs> Gundam yeah. X. Let's go to Gundam X. A. A. I haven't seen it. A. It's 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 pretty damn good. I heard it's good. Yeah. And you did say the main character is a pretty good main character. He is. I remember it's, I talked to a couple shocking. people at Hobby Town. It's just it's a sleeper when it comes to it's just I don't think it's dub. That's the it's only not, reason. That's the only reason I haven't watched it. Yeah, it never came to the US. It, I have no idea why Bandai has not just subbed it and just sent it on to the US official release yet. But hey, it's whatever. Their company. They can make dumb decisions. All right. Stargazer. Or well, y'all want to rank the movies last? Uh we can go go as we go. It's all good. Okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll just Star Wars wasn't that good to me. It jumps around a lot. It has a really fantastic message, but it jumps around a yeah, lot. I'm fine with C. C. Yeah, see? C. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful, but C. Let's start. Let's start rattling some stuff. Let's get this out of here. This this the Ooh. movie Trailblazer, oh. Awakening of the Trailblazer. Mm-hmm. Is indeed, it's, it's probably the one of the worst Gundam movies. It's Dang. probably one of the worst. Gundam movies. <laughs> right, I'm not. I'm just being extraterrestrial. Real. I don't fuck yeah. with the aliens. So, it started. We we started with a great premise and Gundam 00 in the beginning. Then it got kind of shaky in season two, and now you bringing me Venom, symbiotes almost. Like, <laughs> come on now. It, you could have doubled back to a movie from season one, right? You could have gave me like, oh, you watch, don't you know, watch season one, then watch the movie, then watch season two. That's what you, they could have done. But they did it, and I'm not a big fan of the quant anyway. Yeah, the quant T is not one of my favorites. It is way too sleek, way too simple. Yeah. So we got that ranked. Let's go ahead and Gundam Double O, the the regular one, season one. Season one B, B rank. B yeah, T. I I enjoyed it. And so we could probably agree that season two is probably C. You know what? I like the character dynamics in, in season two a little bit more, but I like the fight scenes and overall idea in season one a little bit better. Themes in season one, so yeah. Season two, it, it does focus a little bit more on the characters, the brothers, right? The bro- not the brother, the uh, brother of the female reporter and um, um, yeah. the girl too, right? That was season two. You know something I realized that's crazy about the show is that the main character was never really that interesting to me. Oh yeah, that's so right. much so. Yeah, yeah. Saturn is not the greatest. Yeah, no, Lockon is so so much better that in both of those slides you just moved, he's the front and center middle of the of the picture. It's Lockon oh, wow. and then Hallelujah, yeah. and that's it. <laughs> and yeah. The other two non-interesting characters are stashed to the side. Mm. <laughs> Got the guy and with I- schizophrenia. Or yeah. And and it, yeah, hallelujah and hallelujah. Yeah, and <laughs> way then, interesting. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, do I? It, it, with mobile suits, season one has better suits. I think. I like design of season one as well. The 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 curios, in my opinion, does look better than almost any other suit that Hallelujah had. And the Dynamis was the Dynamis and the Dynamis Repair Three. Those are the only mm-hmm. two good Dynamises. Everything Which else after better that better than the yeah. second one too. And I think season yeah. one has more memorable episodes. I mean, you got, I think, what, five episodes in? You got that episode where Hallelujah is up in space and he's saving the the capsule from falling or breaking. Mm-hmm. And then you get um, lock on on the ground with that big ass sniper gun shooting all the way up from space. That was a cool even just, scene. Even just episode one when fucking. Oh, yeah. Setsuna comes in and fucking shit up for everybody. Like, or, or or the the final the finale in season one was more interesting than the finale of season two because you got that plot twist at the toward the end of season one mm-hmm. where you figure out that oh this is all a setup for humans <laughs> to get more advanced and y'all are just mm. pawns to be thrown away like oh dang. So I think season one is obviously going to be better than season two, which is sad to say, but it is what it is. Next up, let's. Gundam Seed Astray. Have y'all watched that? I've seen bits of it. Not a lot, though. Sorry. But then again, there's not there's not really a lot to see. It is bits. Uh, bits mm. and pieces. It's fun time, but you know what? It's literally just bits. Like, it's not an actual full, complete show all the way through. So it has a lot of lore, but you have to read the manga to know what the hell's going on. So. I'm, about to, 
Yeah, hella kids. <laughs> hella kids, yeah. But D tier all the way. I want to throw this out on a limb. Built Fighters 1 A tier. The first season of Built Fighters. Is that the yeah. very first Built Fighters? Very first Built Fighters. Sayori, Renji, Reiji, Reiji, not Renji. I'm thinking of. Not, not, not the one with the build tri gun, the one with the beam saber strike. V fins. This no, one we're talking about the strike. The strike. The build, build strike. strike. Build gotcha. strike. Amazing Red Warrior. Is that the Amazing no, Red Warrior? The, this one's the Amazing Zaku. I don't think the Red Warrior was in this one. This is the one that's Izakai. There's Izakai in it. Where you find out the pilots from a different world. What? No. Yeah. Which yeah. one is that? Th this is this one. Oh the yeah, 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 right yeah, here. yeah. Yeah, he's Izakai. Yeah. yeah. It's a reverse Izakai. Gotcha. Reiji. This one yeah. I I feel like soundtrack's amazing. Kits are amazing for what it is. Is I think it was the first of its kind, right? Isn't this the very first of the kind of there, there's the one before bash? it. There, there's one oh, the, before it oh, that the was, beginning one right yeah, it was like the beginning yeah and that was three episodes uh but this was like a full series and yeah. the, it was it the pokemon animators actually made this one which it actually did help it lean into the factor of like kind of kids. a kids yeah yeah it does this was the only one that i watched i didn't care for i watched it like it but fighters try was okay fighters try was okay is that the one around on the island they like go off on an island or is that like another season I don't I think know. it's like that's the one with the female, and I think that's mm -hmm. the burning shin yeah. burning yeah. Them, like yeah. that one. Bye. <laughs> it's, it's this one. It's this one. So uh, that one's B tier to me. Uh it was enjoyable. Yeah, it was but... enjoyable, but it wasn't as good as the first one. And uh, is it as good as the first season of Double O? Well, I would rather watch the first season of Double yeah. O than, than that. Yeah. All right. Re-rise. This is something I haven't really dabbled into. A hey, awesome. Awesome yeah. yeah, not 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 that one. Not that one. Oh yeah, that's what season is, two. That's season two. So um, where does season two fall? Oh geez, that's a good uh, question. Oh, well, how about this <laughs> season one? You already gave it an A. All right. So season two better than season one, or uh, like equivalent? They're they're both good. They're both really good. They might both be A tier for me. Yes. Um. Dang. Don't take your word on it, man. Yeah, Everybody right. out there, from what I've heard, it's it's up it's, there. When it, you always talk good. about how like the stakes of it are pretty high too. Mm -hmm. that, that's the morning. thing in the in the first season, it's literally like a Saturday morning new villain of the week type of thing shows up. But toward the end of that first season, the stakes get raised, and then the second season, the stakes are up. There's people dying literally. So <laughs> there you go. And then battle log. Here's the battle log. Bill Fighters. I want to put that. I think what's this one? Is this not the other battle log? If you don't know, I don't know. I think D. D, I'm trying sorry. to think about what kits came out from this this run. It wasn't it the Jinx that green Jinx that had the that had the armored up and the rail mm, gun? It might be. <sighs> All right, now we get into the <laughs> now we get into the meat and potato. What is this one? What is this one? It looks like another rise series i don't know D. oh oh that's the one this? um that's the prequel to re-rise um that's with the double o sky um you know it's it's not terrible it's C. Kids, that yeah it, it stands I, there with victory gundam i think i've seen a bits and pieces of it at hobby town if i remember right that right when you said i see it in the background the double mm -hmm. o sky i think i've seen bits and pieces the kids are cool yeah Except for that gym, that orange gym, the Cheeto gym. But yeah, besides that, yeah. All right, all right, fellas. Now we getting we getting nothing has hit that S tier yet. Nah, because we all know what's waiting for it. Oh yes, yes we do. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, what? yes we do, buddy. G fighter. C. Let's go ahead and get that C destiny. D. Or D. D. We're going to throw Destiny good. straight to C, D. C, De C Destiny is not good. Trash. Only thing that holds up is kits. That's it. Yeah. And the literally, kids are literally, the designs are cool, but that's literally it. They do Kigali dirty. They do Atherin dirty. They do Shin dirty. It's a dirty, dirty, <laughs> dirty series. And they shift the story because it was doing so bad. Like the first three yeah. episodes, like, oh, this guy, we thought was the main character. Never mind. Everyone hated Shin, and they had to make a movie to fix him. Sorry, Skitty, I interrupt you. It's all right. Go ahead, off. Gripes for sure. Yeah. All right. 
I'm trying to see. I think everything else is on age. age. Where's age? Bro, age was okay that, from when I was watching at uh, C tier. The the uh, second good season? concept. Yeah, oh, the, the, the son, right? The father. Yeah. The, 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 there's the there's the green hair, which is the dad. The the blonde hair, who's the son, and then the brown hair, who's the grandson. Okay. So second season is blonde hair, right? Yeah, and that's actually not bad. Okay. Okay, I do remember. Okay. And then the age kits, they're okay. But overall as a show, the master is are great. But overall yeah. as a show it's going to be yeah. Uh... Go ahead and move uh IBO up into the, with the rest of those kits. Too, too. With the rest of what? With the rest of the kits. You got it down at the very bottom, so don't you forget it. There's two oh, seasons. Oh, okay, ago. okay, that's right. That's right. This is season 1. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. This is All right. You got all right. you got endless waltz right underneath him. Yep, but that's the movie. Oh, it's the movie. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you got turn right. A right underneath wing. Turn A, okay. Yep. And F ninety one was next to that. Was F? I thought F ninety one was. Oh, that's F9- UC. That's UC. Yeah, yeah. That's UC. <clears throat> All right. Where does? Go ahead and do turn A. Yep. Turn A. I've seen bits and pieces of it. I wasn't really paying attention of it to it because that's what happens when you watch sub. You can't kind of put your head down. You got to be all the way focused. See, animation I, was good though, from what I've seen. I hear nothing but great things about it. I was so excited. I sat down and watched the whole thing. Oh lord, bored all the way through, <laughs> and confused by character motivation. So C, slap a C on that. Tomio, everybody kept saying you're the greatest, but dude, damn it, it's looking like everything else. There's no fighting on this side. Like you were going back and forth, and you see. All so right, we're, we're gonna get to it. <laughs> Here, we, <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put G Gundam. G Gundam. I'm gonna put it as a C. Really? I'm putting it as a I C. I thought you would put it higher than that. Yeah. It's the animation is good, right? Story gets kind of just kind of uh it's very I'm different. Not a, yeah, very different. I'm not a big fan. They went it was unique. I don't I think it's when it's the tournament aspect of it was definitely unique. I'm not a big fan of the cockpit, right? I'm not a big fan of all the unique Gundams, like dog people. I'm getting sick and tired of hearing about a tequila Gundam. It is no longer funny, man. Like, it's, like y'all done drug that one through the mud. I don't want to hear it on anybody's wish list. Oh, tequila Gundam. And once it gets there, it's going to be in stock again on P Bandai <laughs> for the second round. And it's going to sit there and it's not funny anymore. It's, it's not funny anymore. Right? Like, Cooper Let has a vendetta against that kick. Wait till you get to see the windmill Gundam. That's the, the next windmill gun. Like, come on now. <laughs> Those are, it just feels like. And then what's left? I'm just being, I'm just being real with you, Jack. I'm, I'm going to, what you think? Talk to me. I think it's better than C tier. You think, think it's, it's better than C tier? I think it's better than, I think it's better than B. C tier. I think it's a B. Uh, okay. Um, so let's I, do, I think uh, you're, you hit the head on the uniqueness. It stands out a lot versus all the other ones in C tier. Yes, they kind of do a little off the wall shit to the Kila Gundam in Norway. I think that's the windmill Gundam, um, mm-hmm. but it's something you never see before as far as Gundam. And um, I think for the time, it's a good hash to look at. You know, the five of them and the five of Wing. So you kind of get the similarities in that um, action. Cool, good Saturday morning, uh, new boss of the week type fighting. But I think. For what it's done for the community, it's kind of like a cult classic. Not so popular then, but now I think it's a cult, cult classic. Keeps it in a B tier. Oh, I want to put it. I want to put it in B. Austin, go ahead. I absolutely love the story behind the show. Um, I love that Bandai wanted to do something new. I loved how they went out and found people, different animators, different techniques, and, and adapted and tried a new thing. I, I loved all that. Uh, the final product, um, as a kid, I kind of liked watching it, but I actually liked Wing better as a kid. I watched it again recently, um, and that's still there. Uh, it's still a fun show. It's definitely better than C-tier. I, I think it's above B. 
victory. I would rather watch G Fighters more than anything else in that C tier, maybe except for Stargazer, but that's because I'm a seed, um, a seed uh, weakling. Uh, but the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, but no, I think it's definitely better than C tier. Is it better than B tier? Could it go to A tier? Um, dude, rewatching it, there are some definitely some times where like this episode was unnecessary. Uh, this is boring. Um, the character dynamics are nice. I, I like the, but I, yeah. but the main character is kind of a jerk to me, but he becomes not a jerk. That's all the whole, that's the whole path thing. I don't know. Look, dude, uh, the fights are cool. Animations. All right. The mobile suits, in my opinion, are just, eh. um, I, I do like it, but it's, it's definitely better than C tier. I don't know. Is, a. I can't what about, a. what about, what is y'all's opinion on the quote unquote new type? in this like with the whole gold gundam the hyper mode how do y'all do y'all like that as of you know like how wing has the zero system that kind of i like the zero system right um kind of like a spinoff on the, the whole new type thing do y'all consider that when y'all look at these shows one when i look at a, a non-uc show i look for the i look for that i look for the not, what is their version of new type like what is it um uh and double o is the the quantum battery the the solar uh, battery is it the solar battery or, is it or the, was it trans am trans am that's yeah. what it is yeah trans am i wasn't a big fan of the trans am so i'm not a real big fan of the all gold hyper mode in both yeah God gundam and uh master gundam yeah watch it all gundam. the uh go gold oh yeah, yeah they all... that's right it's, it's just a... but watching a gundam go super saiyan after I've seen Goku do it, it was like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Goku go, go, yeah. going Super Saiyan had more impact. And, and you know what? I, I would say uh, I agree with you, Coop. Everything in that A tier had a moment for me, like had like a visible, like a like a core memory moment that I was like, that was epic. That was awesome. That was amazing. Um, everything and, and G Gundam. The only thing I think about is the ending. The ending was great. That last two episodes. Mm. But look at all the way I got to get there to get there. 50 episodes 50 episodes like, and the, like the rose gundam episode was good uh they're good episodes but each of the no five moments. main characters had like good episodes everything else in between that shit was Ex except for the kid with the the short kid with the ponytail the uh, nobel gundam i like that but that's, i like the, that's the, trash the nobel gundam nobel gundam is trash you don't like the nobel gundam i don't i don't need a i don't need that in the mobiles like that i feel like you're just trying to get females into buying like look i have a barbie gundam it's trash. I, I thought it was more of a homage <laughs> to Sailor Moon. <laughs> I, it, it, it's trash, man. It's, it's, it's trash. I don't, I've seen some builds of it. It looks pretty dope. <laughs> don't give me no master grade of that. At this oh, point, that would be great. At this point, just go ahead and do re-releases of what's already out there. Give everybody a new Devil Gundam or Dark Gundam, right? Both. Yeah, both same. Both. Um, Give me the gold, which I'm shocked they haven't done yet. The P Bandai Gold God Gundam. They did do that for the RG, didn't they? Mm -mm, not yet. Not oh, sure. did they announce it? Nope. I remember seeing it somewhere. You've oh. seen it painted. No, the, R the RE 100 did it. The full mechanics no, thing did it. The full mechanics, I think, did. Yeah. yeah. As a, and I think as a P Bandai, I think they might have done a P Bandai Master yeah, Gundam. I've never and, seen it in gold. Yeah, I, the Master Gundam as well. Yeah, in gold. Yeah. But I'm talking about in real grade. No, no, no. That hasn't happened yet. It's and coming. Go ahead and, and then go ahead and drop the real grade Master Gundam. And then... Ugh. Bandai, they, if you're listening, please give us a Nobel Gundam. All right, continue. They give it, <laughs> another one? I mean, no. Are we good? Next up, but I, we'll keep it at B, and we'll see where it falls. And we'll do our kind of like final ranking at the end. Next up, start from which for mercury b tier b tier yep b tier cd yeah i like b tier b tier okay I, it was good for the most part i didn't finish it you left it at a though oh my fault my fault my fault i was gonna say you, you uh, went behind her uh, back and finished it, it and didn't say this and didn't tell yeah. us <laughs> um but from what i've seen and how revolutionary with um kind of like mainstream i know Turn A is a female, ain't it? 
from what I remember. No, right? no, that's a male. That's it, a male. There's just one episode where he cross dresses, and they they all assume that he's a female pilot. <laughs> the, don't worry, the episode's actually pretty good too. It actually like does a lot of uh, underhanded stuff that talks about, but yeah. <laughs> but um, so which from Mercury, the first female pilot? Uh, Chris outside, was technically yeah. Oh, outside, you see, yes, yeah. Outside, you yep. see main character. Okay. Yep. So yep. it, it's and um one of the most popular Gundam shows in recent history. It actually topped more views than I think uh, it was on any chart pretty high up there in top ten for. I think any, that's like at this point you drop anything Gundam is just going to be like the contract to the NFL. Next quarterback up, the next the next Gundam series that's a mainstream is going to top this one. So, I don't know. Uh, age dropped and that barely hit any numbers. Nobody was watching it when Age came out. When was that? Uh, 2012, maybe? In the uh, peak of Unicorn? No, it came out after Unicorn. It was in between <laughs> Unicorn and... Double O? Around Double O, I think. Somewhere, well. somewhere around that time, yeah. I mean... Because the kids are older. Saturated. It could have been a saturated time for age. If age dropped now, I'm pretty sure the numbers would do high. I doubt it. 2011. I, that, that Gundam name doesn't mean much until now, recently. That Gundam name, that, if you stop Gundam on anything, you have to have either make it quirky or interesting because Mecha as a whole in the anime industry just isn't really selling. It's only recently come back into what like Brave, was it Brave Band Bavish CD? What's it mm -hmm. called? Yeah, that one recently that was like number two. So, mm. yeah. All right. Now we get into the meat and potatoes. Fam. I'm surprised you can argue that a little more than A if, for it to be in your top five. Twilight Axis? What, what would be the point? <laughs> Well, this is uh, UC. That's UC. Okay, gotcha. Just making sure. Mm. All right, fellas. I don't even know what this one is. What is that? It looks UC. It looks like a. I can't tell. I need to see the thing. That green diver. I don't know. I see an RX seventy eight shield, so I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm All right. I'm guessing that's UC. Yeah. Da -da -da. Season da -da. one of IBO. I won't put it at B tier. Okay, I'll take that. I, I, th I think season two is better than season one. Oh yeah, for sure, so we, for sure. So let's go ahead and let's that, go ahead and yeah. And this is when it gets. See, this is when I was going to get dicey with Chill Austin. Season two, season two. Will I would actually, jealous? I would actually reverse that. I like season one more than I did season two. Why? And I, I didn't really like the series all that much, but I like season oh. one more than season two. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe getting episodes confused. You know, go go start at episode thirty. No, oh, no I I remember it very vividly because I was really pissed. <laughs> After, uh, I think season two, I, I, I think was really the emotional uh, turmoil of season two alone. The, especially, especially you go watch that first episode of season two when that, when that Barbatos Lupus drops from the sky. You that is one of the best Gundam scenes I've ever seen. It is top five gundam intro intros not just the music i'm talking about of, introductions of, of a introduction gundam? of a gundam it is top five when he I, falls from the sky boom boom and then shoots the missiles to spread you must be out of your mind man yeah i'm sorry then, i i tried <laughs> the shino you got uh a lofter in the in the in the store that was crazy with the teddy the teddy bear scene. That's, that's it so too. They got her, Jack. Dude, I all I that season two, which is nuts. nothing. I felt nothing when <laughs> she died. You a sick Bro, dog, man. I, I cared so little about anybody in this show. So you're telling me you were forcing your way through the show because it was Gundam? I was yeah. forcing my way through that yeah. show. Any, anything was at, at that point at the end, I didn't even I didn't even like the suits. Like I thought the suits were just so weirdly looking and they're all like tiny waist and I'm favorite like, form of the Barbatos. Rex. Was that the last one? That's my least. Rex. With the tail. I think I don't know the forms. I maybe Lupus is second with the red um well technically second with the red shoulder in that big ass mace or no. blade or Whatever the hell that shit is. The more they look like animals, those shit. I did not care for them shit. I don't. I don't like Lupus or Rex. Maybe the first one. Oh wow! I might go back and rewatch that one. <laughs> Season two is crazy. Season and you have Johnny Young Bosch in there as Orga Iska. Shit. 
<laughs> That's top tier work. There's some top tier. McGillis was McGillis voice actor was Benaja, I think. Or full frontal. M- McGillis was probably the only interesting part of that entire show for me. Was McGillis. And then His story was crazy. Well well then he started doing dumb decisions toward the end, and I was just like, Well, okay. <laughs> He, he, he was up there, but now yeah. the Vidar with the, the Matt, Vidar, the Vidar, the Vidar was nice. I actually thought that we were finally getting like something that looks like more like a Gundam, and then I was like, "All right, cool." That that guy is like a killing me with not giving us one of those though. And P- they, and you have full Grey. mechanics of it. They didn't make a full that mechanics of it. Right? Chill, was bad. chill, 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 chill. With some tender love and care, you can always make a full mechanic look good, baby. I don't know, CD. That's I don't, I don't, I don't know, Coop. Yeah. I, I, you might have to try it. <laughs> I don't think there's any tender loving care. Nobody can love that that thing. Not even a mother. It's just is nasty work, dog. Hello, hollow. Okay. Um, pieces are just the proportions look weird. Like the feet are super longer than they need to be. Thighs are way wider than they should be. Yeah. Um, the guns fall out of the holster super easy. The Blow them down. Stay, yeah. Glue them down. You, you like build down. you over here building a, a five star story complaining about this shit. Come hey, on. I have on, no see. issue with gluing shit now. I'm exactly this shit fall. <laughs> Plug up. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Now we're down. Let's just get this guy out of the way. Let's just get it out of the way. Let's clear it up. And it's I, not I, because I, I'm I controlling. This issue with that shit to A-list. I'm just was wind in your top five, Austin? No. Okay. And to round it off, let's just get it out of the way. There oh. go you two. <laughs> Sick. It, in, endless waltz can stay. Wings got to go down to a B. Ooh. Incredibly boring in the middle. Doesn't pick up until you get to the end and the beginning. That middle part's just so boring. I'll give so you hard that. to get through. I'll give you that. Okay, but it is, it is the first A. I'm just taking my bias out of oh, it. Oh, so they go left and right now? They go yeah. left and right? <laughs> it is at least starting right here. I thought it was up and down. I see. So left to right matters as well. So we got rows and columns. <laughs> there you go. To pinpoint it, right? Like, come on. It's a grid. Okay. But it's definitely. It's definitely I'll give you that. In the middle. Yeah. In the middle. It's Wing was in, in my top five. Um, nostalgia alone, but. Mem- mo- moments I still think about as a 29 year old will still pop into my head. Me and Cooper talking about this when Shinlong was fighting shit. I would like be in the middle of working and I'll think about that shit. Like, Damn, Shinlong is cold as fuck for that. And then go back to work. The thing is though, Austin, and I'm not, and I'm trying to take my bias out of it, right? I understand. Mm-hmm. In the middle is boring, but it's not that many boring episodes in the middle. You might deal with two episodes back to back. You might deal with two back to back episodes before you get like a. Like for an example, you have the the fight in Antarctica, right? Like w- between uh, Zex and uh, Hero, with the heavy arms and Toggies. Then a couple, of, it gets dry right there. Then a couple episodes later, you get Zex. I, I'll give you that when they're on Earth, you you mm-hmm. do get some boring episodes, but it's followed up by something interesting happening. Yeah, right. It's when they get to space. But when they get to Ooh. space, though, it gets kind of heavy. It's, it, it's I'm not gonna lie though. I'm, so... I'm scared to rewatch Wing just because I know how bad. No man, when you get the space, you get the. It's just you get Jesus. Something you get Catra as with his, you know, with the, the wing, wing with the wing zero. You get the the full plan. I don't know, big dog. <laughs> But like, but know, what happens in between dog. that though? Like, what, Cooper, well, you, well, you, in between that, is, do you understand what the fuck they even talk? Was it no, complete Gundam? Yeah, the Relina wants complete no more war. She wants she wants it completely gone, right? Trades is like, look, we got, war is ne- what necessary, and we definitely need somebody, some human aspect into it, right? Then you have the other side saying, well, no. We could do this with mobile dolls. We don't need no man drones. drones, pretty much, right? And then you have the subplot of the Trey's faction, you know, of pretty much remnants of Oz guys who fought back and was like, ah, we're, we're, it's. Is, but I mean, like I right there, know, man. There's dog. so many subplots being. It added, is. It is. And you're just like, what's happening? Who's really like the antagonist here? I guess it's nobody. Oh, it's Zex now. Oh, it's not. Like <laughs> you, you go back and forth, and you're just like, 
Jeez, dude, there's a there's a lot of writing that was trying to find something in there, and I, I gotta say, I'm glad that Hero blew up that colony at the end because that was <laughs> that was <laughs> that was a dope shot. That was cool. Um, I don't think it solved anything. Uh, I think the movie did better at getting past it, the philosophy that it was trying to preach, like the actual ideas in the show. The movie well, did a far better job. If there was a gripe about the movie, it would be it's it's a get to know the characters, which I feel like you you didn't have to really do like the beginning, right? Like they did how hero became kind of the way he is how yeah. but you how didn't like Troll that for Troll? how kind of like how he like but they already they already Troll. talked about that in the show they already yeah. talked about how he's a no-name guy wufe you kind of understand his plight catcher you kind of understand it's kind of like they double back like hindsight's 2020. I, I feel like they did that for people who haven't seen the original show and they wanted them to stay in for the movie they're like hey or the ovas they're like hey uh, you don't need to watch the old show um but truth be told you kind of do yeah, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to, that's why even, they left them in there even figure out why modern maya is even, is even around yeah, yeah. cd yeah. when we went to see seed freedom weren't we like yeah you kind of need to watch all of seed and destiny to know yeah. what the hell Just is going on they literally don't showing cut hands. scenes from from destiny i'm like Who the f oh yeah. yeah that dude the amount of hand holding was minimal <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go Seed. seed oh dude C tier. I was going to say, Jesus. You said wait, 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 is wait, wait. what tier? B or C? B tier. Because we have C destiny. At D. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, not, never not C tier. B or A. Yeah. B. I don't know if I agree with B. But... My fault if y'all hear that noise. That's all right. CD, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you lay down I, your point. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just looking at, I'm looking at my top five. Mm-hmm. Again, mm -hmm. you, you but you're being biased though, big dog. Look at it from what it is. Is Gundam Seed season one of Gundam Seed better than Double O season better one? Better than G Gundam, yes. It's, okay, so let's move it up. Let's let's start it from let's move to the left to the right. <laughs> yeah, let's, we gotta yeah, keep we track of so much now. <laughs> no, is 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 Seed better than first season of IBO? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's flip that. Is it better than Wish from Mercury? As a whole? As a whole. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is it better than G Gundam? Yes. Okay. Is it better than season one of Double O? Because it's season one for it. season one. I, I, I think it's better, better than Double O. Season I enjoyed one. it better than Double O. Yeah. All right. So is it better than season two of IBO? For me, definitely. <laughs> that was yeah, a hard yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like. I liked it as a season one as a whole better than IBO season two. I liked it better than. The me the one metaverse show I saw and Gundam X. Yeah, you can so, go you can go through all the re-rise and rebuild stuff that you yeah, go right yeah. to X. Yeah. And then sit next to Wing. Yep. All right. Please so hey. All right. Uh, being, that, that, yeah, that's just using logic and being non-biased a little yeah. bit because I feel like well, it was it was literally asking what we like. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally the bias. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we were literally just using bias. But like, just being real though, like the the last like I said, 12 episodes of season two of IBO hit. So if I watch C C D and I'm not getting what I got from the last 12 episodes of season two of IBO in all of C, you, C you have some C explaining to you have some explaining to do, big dog. I, I, I'll be again, I'll be explaining about ever. I don't know if you'll ever finish it. So. it because again. We're talking about Lofter. We talking about Shino. We talking about I'm, Mikazuki. I'm I, I loved it, but season <clears throat> season one as a whole, I think, is more impactful. More it impactful. Tells a complete, complete story in that yes. season because it's a complete season. Season one of IBO is incomplete. Season two of IBO is complete though. It is the, the completion of the whole show. Yeah. Okay. It, it, truth be told, you could have technically broke seed into two seasons if they wanted to, because it's fifty-two episodes. Yeah. They they could have, but they just covered it as just one. So well, wonder... it's just like wing though, right? Like so, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wing they could have broke is, up. In, well, yeah. Wing in the U.S. has two seasons, but in Japan it never did have two seasons. It was just it was just we the all, show. But it's the it, we all know that point, right? We all know once they get your space, that's season two. Yeah, that's season two. So yeah. There is a and see there is a break. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that that's when they defect and they something. join Orb. Yeah. Okay. There mm-hmm. is something that kind of they don't like, say it's season two, but you feel well, you, you, you can feel the change. Yeah. New suits, you know that typical. Everyone gets, Mm-hmm. Everyone gets keys to new suits. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's the key. Oh, that's, that's season two. Yeah. All right, and I think uh, that's it. We have we only have one S tier. We only have one S tier. And that's endless waltz. It's endless waltz. Shit, I wish I could float this motherfucker right here, Jack. I wish I could get like that. I wish I could keep my mind <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> Had a have it ghost like a ghost. You see how it's a ghost imprint? <laughs> had that thing Gundam Wing sitting right there. All right. That's a hard pill to swallow though, man. That's a hard pill to swallow. But I know a lot you of people. You can move RBO up to third two in that second two. Yeah. Uh, if if I had a probably i haven't seen it you, you can move it's... gundam x all the way to the edge because no one's seen it but me so we can yeah. we can put that as an outlier okay let's go to b tier if we look going left to right does this look right it looks right to me and we and it looks like there's only one seat i mean one thing so this is season one and two yeah, yeah. And, and combined in one yeah uh, so g fighter was uh, as well was combined in one i guess no which no mark- Wish for Mercury better than uh, G Gundam. I liked it more, but I can see CD? why some people got. Oh. Uh, now I, I know what that's. I, I feel what you about to say, Austin. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to cut you off. What mm-hmm. I'm trying to get is, you put it in your top five, right? You put Wish for Mercury. Which, if you want to go back and say, "Hey, look, I got." Oh no, 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 it's staying in the top five. <laughs> I got a little. It's staying right happy. there. Don't worry. I got it's trigger happy. I'll no, it's submitted. Okay, so now if this is in your top five, right? And if we rank them next time, we need to just do all of it, right? We just need to do all of it. <laughs> right? There's, there's no way it, it can stay at two S tier though. Yeah. We if we do all we'll of it, we'll do four S tier. Four, okay. yeah. So but because if this is this is how I this is my, logically right, if this is in your top five, right? Mm-hmm. Then it has to be like in numerical order. Has Austin to be could like, argue for it to be an S if he really wanted to. Yeah, for this, good. But taking the bias out of it, yes. Which is B, what makes it B tier, not A tier, Austin? B tier. Yeah. Not what? A-tier? Yeah. What uh, makes it? Because you're biased. Rushed, rushed ending and not a fully focused uh, narrative. Yeah. Mobile suits. What you think about the mobile suits? Oh, they were great. All I, of I like all of them except for the aerial rebuild. That's the only one I don't really like is the aerial rebuild. I actually like all the rest of them, which is strange because I usually don't like things that are weird looking. Mm-hmm. Like IBO is an example where I didn't like absolutely any suit in that whole show. But for some reason, which for Mercury, you get suits to work. Well, the same IBO creator made some of those suits. And I actually like them, like the Darren Ball. Hmm. The Darren Ball is literally an IBO suit, but I like it in which for Mercury. I don't know why. The Dari Blade, I'm sorry, the Darren Ball. The Dari Blade, that's what it's called. The Farak is literally an armor core suit. Liked it better in Wish Mercury. In any other series, I don't think I would have liked it. Is it to you better than Double O? Uh, yes. For me, I liked it better than Double O. I liked it better than everything on there on that list. What? Okay, because we know your. But opinion I did not about like this. it more than Seed. We know your opinion that. about this, right? Yeah. Okay, this is just me, just spitballing here right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. go ahead where does it rank against the build series um it's better than all of them i liked all of them uh, i love re-rise but i would watch root for mercury before i watch you rise again re-rise is definitely fun by the way if you guys haven't watched you guys watch it Austin sorry, has go. it before i see that uh, before i be on that list too it, so this is it, it would probably go see yeah it would go right Witcher there mercury gundam wing off but, likeness for Austin. So let's oh, just no. say, Wing's not in your top five, right? Wing, Wing wasn't in my top five, if I remember correctly. Mm. Mm. Cooper had that shit at D. <laughs> now, I want to I go back and watch it because I want to see the Caliburn, though. I want to I see the Caliburn because I like the way it looks. It looks unicorn-esque. 
So I like it. That's I think one of the, if not, that might be one of my first, if not first kit that I haven't seen on TV that I've purchased. I think of because that's always been my thing, right? Like I have to see it first mm-hmm. and then I'll buy the kit. I, I mm-hmm. can see that. It, it it's funny because when that when the caliber was revealed, literally the first YouTube video was up and it was a meme, was everyone playing the unicorn music when it appears for the first time? <laughs> it was <Yeah>. hilarious. <laughs> man but which is shocking right it's more flushed out than you see yes it's more flushed out than you see because of all these definite. trash Ooh. down here um because that's them trying to appeal to the younger generation they don't do that with like uc shows like that's more yeah you're right because even just looking at this right here which is uc left right like None of this is like this could really be a kid's show. Yeah, this is not <laughs> no where, you, where are you sitting, little mom and Chloe, in and watching? Like, hey, let's turn on Gundam. Let's put them for this. Eighth and mess team. That's about it for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe unicorn. If you maybe. want to put them to sleep, maybe G Savior. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but like, you I could sit Chloe down and watch Build. I could like put her in front. Yeah. Of, like, yeah. Half these shows, like she she's watched G Gundam with me before, so like. She Double like Zeta. Shit. Double Zeta has a lot of comedy in the beginning and then it suddenly gets serious at the end. <laughs> well, that's it, people. Let us know if what y'all think about this list. This is the non UC undergated list. Next, um, we're gonna do all um, of them. Oof. That might just be a holdover episode. Just skip to, let's skip the let's skip the foreplay, Jack, and let's go ahead get and get straight to it. Get yeah. straight to it. Man. No taking me out to dinner or nothing, huh? None of that. None of that. Yeah. So let us know in the comments below, people. And if you like any of these shows and you want to purchase a like a kit, yeah, you can get they have kits for these shows, right? Tell them where they go, Austin. You can go to Vulcan Hobby, VulcanHobby.com and use our code undergate 10 to save 10% off your order to get kits like uh this one right here that's behind me. Uh, he's got actually a supply of, I think, a narrative Gundam, Master Grade narrative Gundam, in recently too. So if you want one like that, uh, go to Vulcan Hobby. Yep, like CD's uh, five star story kit as well, and use our code Undergate ten for ten percent off. Yeah, buy one and come cry with me. <laughs> yeah. Misery, misery, love com- loves company. Yeah, sure <laughs> definitely. And make sure you, if you're in the area of Birmingham, Alabama, on April seventeenth, if whatever. August 17th, that's August Saturday. 17th. August 17th. We are going to be down there, us three, in person, live, direct. Live and direct. At the Plamo event, second annual. Was, yeah. Would this second? Would, yeah. Technically, would this be the first annual? This is the first. It's kind of the like an, centuries, the, right? The returning. The annual. The annual. Yeah, now, yeah, we did. He did the inaugural last year, and then now yeah, we have yeah. the annual. So the annual Plamo event down in Birmingham, Alabama, again, August 17th. And there's going to be some heat. heat. Look, you talk about big leagues, people. You talk about big leagues. <laughs> if you want to get into, if you're ready to get into some competition, and you're ready yes. to step up your game for some iron sharpens iron, pick brains of some pretty pretty dope people in this community when it comes to building and you haven't and you're in the area and you can't and you wish you were getting up to odo and it, but it's virginia's a little too far for those people that might be in like louisiana georgia florida come on my Take ass is trip. flying from seattle washington no, oh, this, is gonna, this is gonna be an event so make sure y'all tune in then to get yourself ready you got your kit from vulcan hobby you got to get your paint if you want to get competition ready time and to get in the lab make sure you guys get some sms paint use code chloe's dad 10 for 10 percent off with sms directly spray as you go save yourself some time don't be buying extra bottles of thinner when you can just get it already thinned ready to shoot shop sms save some cash you, yep. Paint your kit. Turn that gauge to about 17. Pour. That's it. That's it. That's it. It don't get no easier than that. And to get your kits ready, you need some tools, right? You got your nippers, right? But to really start honing in on those pieces, use gun primer and use code COOP10 
for 10% off. City is holding a San Luke Flex, the balancer. My man, that glass, not the razor, the other one, the glass. They got the razor again, the glazer, the gritter for scribing. Man, you could get squared away quick with gun primer. Use code COOP10 and save 10% off directly with gun primer. Dope company. Love working with them. They love working with everybody else that's out there that they have. So invest in people that care about the community. And Gun Primer is one of those people. Whew. Man. Invest in yourself, too. That is the, the phrase that pays. I love people hit me up like, hey, man, we seen you guys talk about this. We went out and got it. Like someone mm -hmm. messaged me about some paint you were using Austin. Like, oh, man, I see Austin using this paint. I went out and got it. Or I see Coop talking about this. I went out and got it. Mm -hmm. We're here mm -hmm. to help. We yeah. all went down these roads. We struggled. So we're here to give you the knowledge. So you nail. don't have to make the same mistakes we did. We struggled tooth and nail. We all can't come out of the womb like Austin. Austin yeah. came in the airbrush and ready to go. Austin picked up the airbrush and was ready to go. Prodigy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I did watch like 500 hours of how-to videos, though. <laughs> he was writing them down studying. But invest in yourself, people. This life is short. You don't have, I mean, if you think about it in the grand scheme of things, 80, I want to say 80 years from now, the people that are probably watching this, you're not going to be here. So invest in yourself. Enjoy the time you have with your family and your friends. Take care of your mental because mental health is always CD. Mental We're the undergated, never underrated. Until next time, people, I'm Coop. That's CD and that's Austin. Till next week, 168 hours. Peace.